Hello, my name is Jan Klaius. Um, this office is called Klaius and Klaius. Uh, it was founded in 1996 uh, uh, and it is based on the office of my father, Josef Paul Klaius, who founded the office in 1990, 1962. Um, actually, we had parallel offices. My father had his office, I had my office. Uh, I had my office in the center of Berlin. And after a while, we decided to work together, but not really working together, but sharing the infrastructure, but doing our projects independently from each other. Um, actually, we do everything. We do, yeah, I mean, really everything. The only thing we haven't done until now are airports. And um, so we do uh, villas, we do office buildings, we do uh, hospitals, uh, and now we just finished uh, two quite large hotels here in Berlin. We are definitely leading the process. I mean, we are the architects, and uh, our not only our aim, but also our task is to um, control and to um, delegate and to coordinate all the engineers. It uh, doesn't matter if those are the MEP, if those are the static engineers, uh, green planners or whatever. We as architects, we are responsible for uh, the architecture and we are responsible for the result. In German you would say we are the Treuhänder uh, des Bauherrn. As a Treuhänder of the Bauherr, you are responsible not only for the result, but you're also responsible for the interests of the client. And uh, that's the reason even if the client has a certain program and he says, I want to have a, a, a hotel with uh, 350 rooms and a congress air which has this or that dimensions and with a kitchen with this and that dimensions, you as an architect, you are responsible to tell the client, look, this is your program, but I would suggest make the kitchen a little bit bigger, otherwise uh, the, um, uh, the congress area or the restaurant uh, uh, won't work. Of course, this is our uh, task and uh, we hope that the client uh, still uh, expects this also from us. I'm, I'm not the one who works on the computer. Um, I, for myself, know where to switch on a Macintosh computer. I don't know where to switch on a um, PCs. Um, and that's the same for me with the programs. The only uh, CAD program I know how to work on is uh, ArchiCAD and uh, ArchiCAD. And I, um, I think as an architect you should not think about how you work. That means you should not waste your time in uh, understanding a program you are working on, <coughs> but you should just work and you con should concentrate on uh, your architecture. That means um, that's the reason why we only work with uh, Archicad. Uh, actually, why we only work with Macintosh, uh, because uh, those computers and those programs are um, very easy to uh, work with, and it's fun to work with. And uh, maybe that makes it a little easier to work uh, so much. I think that uh, the, the future for architecture um, is, is the same uh, as a past of architecture. What counts is quality. That means it doesn't matter if you do an airport or if you do an office building or if you do a hotel or whatever. Uh, people ask much more, more and more uh, for quality. That means for you students that uh, you have to work a lot. As an architect, you really have to work a lot but you never get it paid. That means you have to be aware of the fact that as an architect uh, you have a lot of fun because the job is fantastic. You do many uh, things which are uh, different. You have all the time a new task. You have all the time a new problem to solve. That's not like a, like a pilot who all the time flies the same uh, route and uh, sits like a bus driver in his uh, cockpit. You, you do something uh, fantastic, but you have to be aware of the fact that you work a lot and that you get only a little, little, little money for what you do. Our design philosophy is uh, ourselves, the self-understanding of our office is to work within the urban fabric, uh, which means we are not interested in uh, doing label architecture, uh, which means that everybody 
immediately recognizes that um, this is a building by Claius and Claius. Uh, we are not interested in doing signature architecture. We are interested in working with the urban context and within the urban context. I think this this is this is part uh, this is what is typical for our office, and that's the reason why uh, people like our architecture, and especially why. Uh, also the officials uh, uh, like our architecture. Um, uh, let, let me just explain on uh, two uh, projects we just finished, two hotels, uh, what I mean when I talk about the city fabric, when I talk about the urban con uh, context. For example, and you can see the um, photos here, this is an elevation and those are just some facade photos. This one, by the way, is a piece of the um, uh, natural stone, how it is curved. And the idea of this project was, when you look at the site plan, um, people that know Berlin, they know in Berlin you have a certain height, which is 22.5, and which means the height of the roof. And this 22.5 meters is almost a law in Berlin. You are not allowed to build higher than that, and suddenly, you have a building like this, which is much higher, which is uh, almost three times as high. Now, ev now everybody might ask, where is now the urban context? Where is the city fabric? We have a spe special situation here. We have a um, we have a, a piazza, a, a, a bigger place here, where you have one, two, three very high buildings, which are not typical for Berlin. And what we uh, decided was to answer with a force uh, high building uh, so to enclose this uh, piazza to enclose this plaza with this uh, uh, high building on one hand side on the other hand side we still close the uh, uh, block um, which means uh, bringing back uh, the, the the block structure at least on this side on this side we have a solitary building um, and um, a monolithic building and we can't uh, attach this building that's the reason why this building on one hand side stands within the block and the other hand side it stands uh, free uh, special for this hotel it's a hotel with 350 rooms and congress areas and things like that um, special with this building is that we did the complete interior design. That means we did everything. We did not only uh, all the furniture, but we did also uh, door handles. Uh, this is, this is uh, very rare for uh, uh, hotels of this size, because usually when you do hotels of this size, uh, you do just the exterior and the interior uh, is done by somebody else, and uh, this somebody else doesn't the architecture that um, uh, or interior that uh, meets the idea of the corporate identity of the hotel which is usually not really the kind of interior design we would like uh, and this one this hotel maritime where you can see the entrance here this was an exactly a hotel like this the maritime has its own corporate identity that means we haven't done, we were not allowed to do the interior, but we did the exterior. And here again, when we talk about the, um, uh, the urban context, we have a very heterogeneous uh, surrounding to this piece of land. This piece of land was only 12,000 square meters big and we had to put on this 12,000 square meters a building with 65,000 square meters with over 1,000 beds with um, congress areas for more than 6,500 people and how do you fit a large building like this into a rather small 12,000 square meter uh, piece of land that was one thing the other thing was that here we have the so-called shell house by Emil Fahnkamp so which is one of the uh, architectural icons of uh, Berlin or uh, Germany and the question was how to react 
to this building and the question was also how to react to uh, the, the very heterogeneous buildings around. And um, what we did, you can see it a little bit here, you have the uh, shell house, you have the extension of the shell house, the shell house with round corners, the extension of the shell house with sharp corners, and then our implementation, our answer to the situation, which means we have a big building that keeps the height of 22.5 uh, meters, which also it keep, it reacts also to the uh, painting uh, gallery, it reacts in, in terms of height, it re reacts to the housing buildings uh, which were built during uh, the International Building Exhibition 1984 and it reacts with the material and with the, uh, with the way how to um, design the material in the way that wherever we have sharp corners we answer with sharp corners which you can see for example here and um, we act, react with round corners wherever we uh, meet round co corners of the old building. So the, uh, the red piece is, is a round corner, it steps down, goes around the corner and it ends with a tower, with this tower from the back, or this tower in the front, uh, which in the same moment uh, is a signal. Uh, for the for the entrance, so our idea here was not to um, to do a composition, but to do an ensemble together with the surrounding and together with this um, house by Emil Fahrenkamp. <laughs>